How you break in a new car, dead gum? Yeah. Look at them lines. Oh yeah. Yee yee. Yee yee, boys. Yee yee. <laughs> Man, those are uh, pretty long. Well, what do you know? Once again, it's not a Mustang. So what is going on guys, Riley here. Today, obviously, we are revealing the new car here for the channel, which is this 2012 Corvette Grand Sport with 26,000 miles, an LS3 6.2 liter V8, a six-speed manual. Oh man, this is going to be a fun project. Now a little bit later in the video I will talk about why I chose a C6 Corvette in the first place but first off let's just go ahead and focus on the car talk to you guys about some of the features and cool things about it um, and then we'll hop in the car and take it for a little drive. So first off we'll just do a quick walk around of the car so you can get acquainted to it but here she is it is a crystal red tint coat is what they call the paint color and as you can see we're on some chrome Grand Sport wheels which I'm sure will get changed out very soon. But yeah, here's a quick little walk around. Already got the Nitrous Express plate frame on there and, uh, you know, starting the mods early. But in all seriousness, this is a car that I will be modifying. We're going to be throwing a lot more power at it and seeing what this thing can do. Uh, I really just wanted a car that was good for road course, drag racing, autocross, just a little bit of everything. Go kill it in the back road. I mean, this car pretty much does it all. And uh, like I said, I'll talk to you a little bit later about the sentimental value of a C6 Corvette. Uh, here a little bit later kind of has to do with that clip you saw a minute ago of when I was a little guy in a black C6 Corvette But for now the car is 100% Bone stock this car's actually had four owners and I guarantee you all four owners Were the type of guys that let this thing sit in their garage and they took it out on nice sunny days for drives or whatever I mean for crying out loud the whole front of the car uh, There you can see it, but the whole front of the car has expel on it um, I had like the window sticker or, like gas receipts oil receipts I mean the guys really took care of it um, and now I got my hands on it <laughs> but yeah 100% bone stock aside from the tires it's on some Nitto NT 05s 275s in the front and 335s in the rear those are some wide tires six piston calipers with drilled rotors here in the front and moving on to the back we've got four piston calipers with drilled rotors so the brakes are great the suspension setup on this thing is fantastic it pretty much shares every characteristic of a z06 with this car aside from the ls7 this one has the ls3 motor which is down i think about 70 horsepower this one makes 436 uh, to the motor which you know like i said we're going to see how high we can get that <laughs> without blowing anything up one other pretty cool feature that was already installed in this car from a previous owner is the mild to wild switch. So I will play you an example of that. Basically it has a loud mode and quiet mode with the flip of a switch on the inside of the car. So that right there is the switch I was telling you about. You press green for quiet, red for loud. Pretty darn cool. But yeah, here is the interior, which is absolutely mint. Once again, 26,000 miles, so this thing is still a baby. Uh, but the cool thing about the Grand Sport is it's a little bit nicer of an interior as compared to a Z06. And also, this is a 3LT trim level, so you get the leather, you get the heads-up display, um, you get the little navigation screen there in the middle, which isn't that great. I will be the first to tell you that. But it's better than nothing. 
But I didn't really buy this car expecting a fancy interior, although it gets the job done. It's actually really comfortable. And in the past, uh, what is it, week and a half that I've owned this car, I've put a thousand miles on it and Honestly, I'm loving it. It's fantastic. Another cool thing about the Grand Sports is that you can take the roof off, whereas in the Z06s, they're a titanium roof, which is a fixed roof, and you cannot take it off. So that's pretty darn cool. The Fiance loves that feature as well as I, and it's pretty cool that it's also see-through. It's a little bit dirty up there. I'll have to clean it up, but yeah, pretty cool. It came with the transparent roof, and then it also came with a body-colored roof. So it had two roofs, a battery tender. Once again, the original window sticker. I mean, this car was seriously well taken taken care of it was probably babied and uh, apparently the last guy that owned it was actually an army guy who was being deployed to Afghanistan and decided that he was going to sell his car um, so shout out to you sir thank you for your service and thank you for taking care of your car um, hopefully I can take care of it just as well and have some fun modifying it and I'm just really excited for the project that this is going to be and just one last feature about the Grand Sport that's pretty darn cool is you get these super wide fender flares which are the same from the Z06. However, here up on the front fender, it almost looks like fish gills and that's unique to the Grand Sports. The Z06s and ZR1s have a little bit of a different design, um, but pretty darn cool. I think that one's actually my favorite. And you also have another little air intake scoop thing right back there. But 436 horsepower and 426 torque somewhere in there with a car that weighs only 3,300 pounds. This thing is honestly really fast for a bone stock car. Um, so let's go take it for a drive. I'll talk to you about a few more things and you guys can uh, see how it drives. So I thought I had my GoPros with me. It turns out I don't, so I'm going to just briefly film something here on my phone and then probably get home and talk to you guys about what I wanted to originally say. But, uh, you know, let's at least go get a couple pulls in. All right, let's test it out. <laughs> oh my God. It shouldn't be this fast. It should not be this fast. <laughs> Sports are one of those cars that was so overlooked, but they're so good. So good. Oh, that felt really good. I like that. And boy, oh boy, I really missed having a six speed manual. That is just, I love it. It's, it's such a great transmission. For those who don't know, this is the same transmission that's in the GT500s. It was actually the same transmission that was in my uh, 2017 Camaro SS. Uh, the Tremec 6060 as they call it. It's a beautiful transmission. It's honestly one of my favorites. But the thing is rock solid. It's pretty much bulletproof and man, it's just such a joy to just row through the gears in this thing. And I don't know if you can tell, but it quarters so flat and then it's just such a good car. I really thought I had my GoPros with me, but I don't, and that really upsets me. So I have no idea how the audio is coming out on this. Hopefully it's not too terrible. Um, but I hate to tease you guys with this short little drive, but I promise the next video with this car, we'll take it for a proper drive with proper GoPro setups front and back and on me or whatever. We'll, we'll make it a nice one. But until then, I'll probably cut this iPhone footage short. Um, I guess we can do one more pull because, you know, why not? I have yet to try a dig in this car. Let's try it. Say that's probably enough of that for today so uh we'll see you guys back at home all right not quite home but it might as well be considering how many videos i film at this spot but before we talk about the old sentimental story of why i bought a c6 i wanted to just briefly talk about the stuff that i've done to the car so far so when i bought the car it had this super ugly chrome grill i'll show you a picture of it and now that chrome grill is gone um, so it looks much better there we went ahead and tinted the side markers at mob auto boutique so all four side markers are now tinted and then this little guy right here we wrapped gloss black and 
and Corvette guys call this the halo because it makes a little halo around the top of the car. Huh? <laughs> Get it? But yeah, that's typically body colored. We wrapped it black. I think it just looks a whole lot cleaner with you know the top black and then the bottom red. But yeah, so far that's all I've done to it. Uh, I've got parts on the way. Wheels will probably be coming next, and then I'm thinking for the first mods for the car, we'll probably start off with like long tubes and a tune and like an intake or something. Just kind of start off simple and then go from there. But what I really want to do is go to the track with this thing, set a baseline with it bone stock, see what it runs, and then with you know each set of mods that I do to this thing, go back to the track and see how much they improved the uh, performance on the car. And like I said, this is something that I'd really like to road course and autocross and you know something that I can progress as a driver as well as you know just have a super fun time with a car that's just a buttload of fun and this thing it's it's great it really is okay now i'll talk to you guys about why the c6 corvette has a special place in my heart um so a lot of you don't know this but i have an older brother he's like 31 i think 32 somewhere in there Sorry, bro, if you're watching this, might have got that wrong. But it was right about the time that he graduated college, he bought a black C6 Corvette. And I was, I don't know, what, 12 or something at the time? And when he bought the car, he brought it home for the first time. I was like, wow, this is the coolest car ever. And I have really that car to blame for my love and passion for cars is because he you know, he had a sports car and I thought it was just the coolest thing ever and it's, you know, your older brother, somebody you look up to and he would, um, he used to work until like 10 or 11 at night. He would get home from work, shower, and then he would pick me up in his Corvette and he would take me to Whataburger and we'd get taquitos, which they start serving at 11. So they serve breakfast food late at night. And we would probably do that like, I don't know, maybe twice a month or something. And every time we did that, I was like, man, this is just the coolest thing. I'm in such a cool car right now. I'm getting some breakfast food, my older brother. And I was, you know, like 12 years old. So that was like a big deal at the time. And I remember we'd always be sitting in the drive-thru. I'm like, so how fast is this thing? Is it is it really fast? What's the fastest you've gone? And I just was so curious. And I just loved his car so much. And uh, I don't know, it just has always kind of stuck with me. Like C6 Corvettes are awesome cars. It's really hard to hate on them. They're kind of timeless, really. Um, the motors are bulletproof. The transmissions are bulletproof. It held a special place in my heart. If he hadn't have got a C6, I probably wouldn't be in one today, to be quite honest with you. But um, after riding in his, and I just, I don't know, it, it makes sense to me. I know some of you will get where I'm coming from when you, you know, have a car that means something to you other than, oh, it's just a piece of metal with some tires. But ever since then, I've always liked Corvettes, and really that is what got me into cars. So I figured, why not get a car that was the main reason for me getting into cars uh, to start off doing my first project car um, and i want to use that term loosely i'm not going to just you know gut the interior and destroy the thing and start drifting it that's not what not what i'm doing here um, it's going to be you know still a car that can drive normal it will just have a little bit more horsepower than it currently does. But yeah, guys, that pretty much sums up today's video. I know a lot of you are going to be like, what the heck, what happened to the Mopar stuff? And there will still be plenty of that. And odds are I'll probably be back in a Mopar and whoever knows how long, how many months it will be. Um, but like I said, I'm still a Dodge guy. I will miss my Hellcat for sure. That car was fantastic. Um, yes, you know, this is a downgrade, but it's also half the price of a Hellcat. So. We'll get into pricing and all that fun stuff next video because honestly it's kind of interesting but really just wanted to reveal the car today, kind of share this little story with you guys and uh, get hyped because oh, it's going to be so much fun. I love this thing. I really do and uh, hopefully you guys like it too. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I will leave you guys with one last little clip from my sixth grade project in my brother's C6 Corvette. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Hi, my name is Riley Piper, and I'm a DEA special agent. Right now, we're doing surveillance on a known drug dealer, and we're waiting for him to come back to his house, and we'll hopefully go arrest him. Here's your arrest warrant. I didn't do all that. That's not me. Tell it to the judge. Well, guys, this is it. Say hello to a new beginning, and goodbye to some great memories. I will definitely miss the Hellcat. This thing has been fantastic. Seriously couldn't say enough good things about it. But uh, now it's time to move on to a new chapter and start on a new fun project. So really looking forward to messing with the Corvette, seeing what we can get out of it and just, you know, having fun. But uh, Hellcat 
you were good to me and I will miss you.